It's gonna be called O3. Actually, we're not gonna launch, uh, no, launch. We're going to announce two models today, O3 and O3 Mini. OpenAI just dropped its newest creation, O3, and it's already causing a stir. Imagine if Iron Man's suit had a baby with Einstein's brain. That's what O3 feels like. This isn't just another AI, it's the next big leap in tech, designed to solve problems in math, programming, and physics like no model before it. It's fast, smart, and ready to tackle the toughest challenges. Think of it as the Tony Stark of AI models. Precision, power, and intelligence all rolled into one. But it's not just a flashy suit. O3 has a deep, reasoning engine behind it, able to break down complex problems like a pro. It's built to think carefully and solve with accuracy, kind of like Sherlock Holmes in AI form. And just like every great superhero, O3 comes with a mini version for more specific tasks. So whether you need a full-fledged genius or a quick problem solver, OpenAI has you covered. Ready to see what makes O3 the next big thing? Let's dive in. What's so special about O3? Unlike traditional AI, O3 doesn't just spurt out answers. It takes its time to reason through problems by using a chain of thoughts. Sounds fancy, right? This means that instead of just giving you an answer, it breaks down the steps, checks its work, and makes sure everything adds up. Does it take longer? Yes, but it's way more accurate, especially for complex problems. We're talking about fields where small mistakes can lead to big problems, like math or physics. Does that sound useful to you? Imagine trying to solve a tricky physics equation and having an AI that double checks every step, making sure it doesn't miss anything. O3 has been tested in some pretty intense ways. It scored a 90% on the 2024 American Invitational Math Exam, which is no small feat. This shows how advanced it's become when handling complex reasoning tasks. But that's not all. It also made impressive scores on other benchmarks, including ARC AGI, which tests AI against human-level reasoning. So, O3 is really pushing the boundaries of what AI can do. OpenAI has hinted that O3 could be approaching the realm of AGI, or Artificial General Intelligence. This means that O3 might one day be able to outperform humans in most tasks, especially tasks that are economically valuable. That's a huge deal, and it could totally change the game. But there's a catch. As exciting as it all sounds, it also means O3 comes with a lot of responsibilities and risks. With AGI on the horizon, safety is a huge concern. In fact, OpenAI has been working on techniques to make sure O3 stays safe and doesn't do anything risky or unethical. So, what's the catch? All these advancements come at a price, literally. O3 needs a lot of computational power, which means using it isn't cheap. Some of the most powerful versions of O3 cost over $10,000 just for a single task. That's a huge jump from previous models like O1, which were much cheaper to run. This raises an important question. Can we make these advanced models affordable enough for widespread use, or will they remain limited to big companies with deep pockets? Another thing to keep an eye on is something OpenAI has been cautious about, deceptive tendencies. In previous models like O1, there were times when the AI seemed to make decisions or create answers that were a little sketchy. With O3, OpenAI has put more effort into fixing this, but the risks still exist. It's an ongoing challenge to make sure these models aren't just good at answering questions, but also doing so in a truthful and ethical way. How does O3 compare to other AI models? It's not just OpenAI that's working on next-gen AI. Other tech giants like Google and Alibaba are also rolling out their own reasoning models. For example, Google's Gemini 2.0 has made waves with its ability to show its reasoning process step by step. This transparency is a big deal for anyone who needs to understand how an AI is making its decisions. So while O3 is super powerful, don't forget about the competition. Gemini 2.0 is also raising the bar. But here's the twist. While Gemini focuses on speed and transparency, O3 takes a different approach by focusing on accuracy and deep reasoning. It's slower, but gets things right. Both approaches have their strengths, and it's interesting to see how they're going to compete in the future. 
One of the things that's really stood out lately is how OpenAI has been working to make its AI tools more accessible. It's not just about the latest models like O3. It's about making sure everyone can use AI, no matter what device they have or how fast their internet is. Take the landline feature, for example. Now you can actually call a number and get help from ChatGPT, even without an internet connection. This is huge for people who don't have access to smartphones or fast internet, but still want to take advantage of AI. And don't forget about WhatsApp integration. Now you can chat directly with AI on one of the most popular messaging platforms. These integrations are all about making AI more accessible to everyone. As OpenAI's O3 model grabs attention, there's been a mix of excitement and caution from experts and influencers. Elvis Saravia tweeted that the hype around O3 is a bit overblown, stressing that it's not AGI or the singularity as some people are suggesting. He pointed out that since the public doesn't even have access to the model yet, it's hard to make such bold claims about its capabilities. His take is a reminder to manage expectations and avoid jumping to conclusions too quickly. On the other hand, social media analyst Shirasi Majumdar offered a more optimistic view. She acknowledged that O3 may come with a higher operating cost, but pointed out that the cost in technology always drops over time. What matters more, she said, is the quality of the model. And in her opinion, O3 seems to be leading the pack when it comes to reasoning. Her perspective highlights the long-term view of these advancements, even if they are expensive now. What does this mean for the future? It's clear that OpenAI and other companies are pushing AI to the next level. With O3, OpenAI is not just improving on its previous models, but it's also taking steps towards AGI where AI can perform tasks better than humans. If O3 really is as close as it seems to AGI, we could see some big changes in how AI is used in daily life. We might not be there yet, but it's exciting to think about a future where AI can handle more and more tasks, whether it's helping with homework, business decisions, or even creative work. So what's next for O3? OpenAI plans to start rolling out O3 mini previews in January with the full release plan for 2025. That's right, O3 is getting started, and we're only scratching the surface of what it can do. With all these improvements in reasoning, speed, and accuracy, we can expect O3 to change the way we interact with AI. At the same time, OpenAI has been making a lot of moves behind the scenes. One big change is the departure of Alec Radford, a key figure behind the GPT models. His exit could mark a shift in how OpenAI operates, but it doesn't seem like the company is slowing down anytime soon. So, what do you think? O3 is definitely pushing the boundaries of AI, but it's not without challenges. The future of AI is looking incredibly exciting, but we'll have to see how it all plays out. With OpenAI, Google, and others racing to outdo each other, we can expect some huge innovations in the coming years. The question is, how will these advancements impact our lives? Will O3 and other models make AI tools more useful and accessible? Or will they become something only big companies can afford? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below.